I have an idea. Let's go try some lane assist and regen on B mode. Let's go drive the car. Right, let's set off and show you a bit of B mode. B mode first, and then we'll do a little bit of lane assist. We're coming up to the top of the road and I'm going to let go of the accelerator now. And there you go. Steady to the junction and then we can go out. We have to go over these speed humps. So anything below 30 mile now, and the B mode works really quite aggressive, as long as your battery's below 80% or 85, I think it is. Um, so anything below 30 mile now, and you'll feel that regen in B mode working really strong. Um, that beep that you're hearing is I'm in the 20 mile an hour zone. As soon as you go one or two mile an hour over, it beeps. You can turn that off in the settings, but I like my beeps. A noise beep. It's gone dark and that means the headlights have come on. So you might be able to see how good these headlights are if it gets a bit darker again soon. It's, uh, still not touched the brake pedal. I am purely driving with my foot on the accelerator and letting off. Okay, I'll go straight over this roundabout. about just up here 30 mile an hour as you can see the roundabout coming up I'm going to let off the accelerator now there we go and then we can go out and head down this road here I won't drive around for an hour and bore you to death. Just wanted to do a demonstration of B mode. Still haven't touched the brake pedal from leaving my house. Just toodling along and trying to demonstrate B mode. Uh, obviously if you take it out of B mode and then you drive in D mode it doesn't come to a stop. Right, let go of the accelerator in a second. I've just eased off the accelerator. Right, letting go now. and brake in a little bit now. There we go. You can just hear the brake pads actually come on then. I heard them go. Right, and then turn the laser indicators on to turn right. Because there's cool laser indicators on the back. Freaking lasers. Laser beams, freaking laser beams. I don't know if you can see the headlights on the car in front at the moment but they are very bright and when I say they are very bright they are extremely bright they are amazing now obviously still in a 30 zone traffic alert B4113 roadworks ahead Traffic alert. There's roadworks ahead, people. So, car in front braking. I ease off the accelerator now. Look at that. Carry on straight. Traffic lights coming up. Ease off about now. Not touching the accelerator. Obviously, the lights have gone green, but as you can see, I would have come to a pretty much a stop at the line. Accelerate away. Car pulling out. Ease off just in case, but he's staying there. It's like being on your driving lesson. Hope you're all enjoying this. Normally I drive like a reckless lunatic. Uh, anyone watches my videos knows I don't because I drive slow everywhere. Right, red light, let go of the accelerator. Coming to a stop, not to a stop, to five mile an hour, and now I have to use the brakes just a little bit and then accelerate away. 
it'll accelerate away fast. Up to 30. Okay. Another roundabout coming up. They're going to accelerate it now. And it's coming to stop, pretty much. Look at McDonald's. There's no queue in McDonald's, people. You can get a Big Mac. Right. There you go. That's a bit of B mode. Of course, there's one more light, set of lights. And then I'll ex accelerator off. Coming to a stop. Again, I keep saying stop, but it's not. Coming to five miles per hour. And then I'll come to a stop. Automatic handbrake comes on. Foot off the brake. Don't have to touch anything. There's an auto handbrake button up by the part brake, which turns as soon as you put your foot on the brake, it comes to a stop. It'll auto handbrake. And then when the lights go green, all you have to do is put the foot on the accelerator. The auto handbrake light will go off and it will pull away, as you're about to see, like now. There we go. There we go. Right, let's go and check out the lane assist. Catch you all shortly. I'll find a decent road. Right then, people. I'm just going to jump on the motorway and demonstrate a bit of lane assist. Look at these lovely headlights reflecting off the signs. They're so bright. Okay, I'm just going to get up to 55 mile an hour. I'm not going to do 70 on demonstration or anything like that. I'm just going to get onto, onto the motorway now. I'm not going to let go of the wheel because that's not what you do. I'm just going to hold it lightly. So lane assist is on because you can see the two white lines and this is all lit up. You can see if you keep watching this it'll change colour. I'm, I'm just literally holding the wheel like this. I'm not doing anything pressure wise and I'm just going to let it and if it tells me to put pressure on it I will. But this is the lane that's working. Okay I'm still just holding it lightly. I'm not doing anything untowards on the Zoe. It's going to go over to the left hand lane a little bit now. There we go, it just corrected itself. I'm still holding it lightly. Yeah, I can see it moving the wheel. There's a truck in front, I need to slow down a little bit. It's not bleeped. Now if I let go of the wheel completely, it, for some reason, even just this light movement, it knows that you've got your hand on it for some reason. I don't know why. It's very clever. Again, just holding it lightly. It's going near the white line. It's as you can see the yellow line has lit up here and it's going over to the white line there you go see I let go of the wheel that's what happens if you completely let go of the wheel it has a dicky fit so I'm just holding the, the wheel again lightly not doing any adjustments it's going to ping over to the left a little bit and then it will correct itself goes and then again we're just a little blind spot light came on because the van undertook me now to move over I've got to indicate otherwise it will not let me go over so I'm going to indicate to go over because I want to come off I just felt it then correct itself into the centre of the car. Look, I'm going to let go of the wheel for a minute and then you'll see what happens. It'll beep when it gets near the edge. Oh no, it's, it's not going to beep. It's, it's playing ball. Anyway, I don't like holding the, not holding the wheel very... I want to be in control at some point. don't want to just career off the motorway. And if I still not... There's a truck there on the right-hand side of me. just going to keep lane assist like this until we um, until we sort of like get off it's it, here comes a corner here you see that light still light still moving round the corner <laughs> still hold it like not gripping it not gripping it at all and it's it's bringing me up to the junction bit of B mode here now right lane assist is going to kick off because I'm coming below 40 mile an hour 43 mile an hour so Bit of B mode on there, not touching the brakes. There you go. Well, hopefully that shows you a little bit of lane assist. It's not a Tesla. I do agree. It's not self-steer. It's lane assist. But it works well. And I think it works. For what it is, it works really well. 
yes if it had adaptive crews it'd probably work even better look at these two lunatics what's going on here i don't know people don't know anyway there you go people hope you uh thought that was all right and a bit of a nice demonstration i won't carry on and wobble on because you'll all get bored let's roll on the nighttime shot of me driving in the dark right I'm not going to show what happened a minute ago when I was filming I have to start again the camera fell off the windscreen basically and that was just while well, I was doing like 30 mile an hour so I've had the car a month and what do I think of it I say I'm a Zoe fan so I think it's amazing it's it's better than the R110 I had before 20 times better you know, it's the step the quality step up the build quality of, of all the materials of how it's put together just seems amazing the seats are comfy the soft touch stuff on around it all is just amazing <laughs> this is, this is the bit that four years ago five years ago when I first got the electric car, everyone said, unless you can drive 400 miles and tow a caravan with a horse box on the back and nine kids uh, and do like 400 miles without stopping, I don't want it. We know that's not the case. You don't need a car that does 400 miles without stopping. So, 22 kilowatt Zoe I had would, would do 85 90 mile range in the summer 65 70 in the winter just normal driving the r110 would do summer 180 plus winter 140 ish 130 140 normal driving i'm at 62 percent on my car now and i have 140 mile range just can't get my head around how far this car can go I am averaging easily 220 plus miles and I just drive normal I just drive speed limit 30 speed limit 60 I do 60 if it's a motorway I do 70 I just drive it like a normal car it is a game changer in range okay it might not have 100 kilowatt CCS but with 220 mile range or 230 240 if you drive really steady 250 if you drive like an EV guru then a 30 minute stop is going to get you about another 110 miles that may be a little bit more that means the car will do 300 and something 300 and, say 340 miles for a 30 minute stop when was the last time you drove 330 miles without stopping? That's what I'm saying. When was the last time you drove 340 miles without having to have a rest? This car is capable of going pretty much anywhere. It's actually got more range than a standard Model 3. Um, it's got more range than um, a G-Wiz. It's got more range than... It's actually got more range than Peugeot E208. But obviously the Peugeot has apparently got 100 kilowatt charging. As someone did a video about it. But it, it hasn't got the range of the Zoe. It says 250 kilometres at high speed. You know, I say high speed, motorway driving. When I drove this back from Morecambe, I had 60 miles spare. It was a 157 mile or 154 mile journey with 60 miles spare and I did the speed limit where I could if it was 60 mile an hour roadworks I did 60 if it was 50 I did 50 if it was 70 I did 70 I drove it like a normal car 60% battery in a 136 uh, 139 mile range it's just not right no 62% sorry 139 mile don't know what else to say it's amazing absolutely amazing i haven't touched the heating it's been on 19 degrees ever since i left wells at dsg and it's comfortable 
it, it gets warm when it needs to get warm, it gets cold when it needs to get cold. This is, this is the best Renault Zoe out there. It really is. It's amazing. And of course, having it in red is the only way. If you've bought any other colour, you're not in Team Red. Sorry, Team Red's the winner. But yes, so, ooh, bumpy road. So I'm absolutely over the moon with this car and I can't, I wait to be able to go out and do a road trip and then film it all. Anyway, let's try and find, it's, it's still not dark. It's still not dark. And I'm driving around for you lot. Hopefully it'll be dark in a minute. I can see the headlights are working, but it's just not gonna show. Anyway, speak to all in a bit when it gets dark and you'll be able to see the headlights. Right then, here we go. I found somewhere pretty dark. So it's not dark dark, but this is the Zoe's headlights in pretty much dusky dark down a country lane. Um, there you go, look at that. They are pretty impressive. They uh, tend to light up the world. I'll just drive a little bit further down in. If you keep an eye out, you'll uh, see them reflecting off everything. And uh... Oh, by the way, they've got turning LEDs uh, on the spotlights at the bottom as well. So when you turn, they, they go left or right. The left and, if you go left, the left LED spotlight comes on. If you go right, the right. Only below, sort of like, 15 miles per hour. Here we go, another bit of darkness down here. auto main beam as well which has just come on so that's the auto there you go it's just gone off again which way to go down here turn right actually Your, the footage, as you'll probably see, I will know when I edit it, but you get an idea of, I mean, this isn't completely dark, so this is like dusk, um, and they're still showing up, really impressive on the road. So I don't know what the video is going to be like, I'll soon see when I get home, coming down the, uh, into another dark area down here, darkish area anyway. main beams just come back up I haven't touched anything it's just come on auto corner and lights come on and the main beams gone off what happens the main beam comes on if it's completely dark it'll come on like it should come on up here here we go nice dark just come up if it sees another car coming the other way it does automatic or if there's a car in front with the red lights or the rear lights it will they, they automatically go off they are really good they're really quick another thing I noticed as well is when you go through a tunnel in the daytime they come on instantly and they go off instantly whereas the old one used to be a delay It'd be about three or four second delay they'd go on and then four, three or four seconds later then they'd go off. There you go. Bit of LED headlights on the new ZE50. Pretty impressive. But its main beam still on. I'm seeing if there's a car coming come the other way and then you'll be able to uh, see no there's not going to be no car coming the other way. Well hopefully that's demonstrated it. I'm going to go home because it's not completely dark. Uh, thank you all for um, let's spin the camera around. Is it 
don't know if you can see me, it's dark. Thank you all for watching, and I'm sorry if I bored you to death, but these things happen. Like and subscribe, hit that bell icon, and drive safe. Stay safe, stay alert, because we're still in COVID. Enjoy. Bye-bye.